All right, it is Thursday, so that means Imagination Station at Day here on WT11 New York Day. Carl Nelson is here with something that's gross, but relevant in the world of science. Absolutely. Carl. We have a new exhibit opening this weekend called Grossology. It's all about the impolite science of the human body. So we can talk about farts, poop, <laughs> boogers, Potty. things like that. Bathroom humor, okay? But exactly. what's, what's nice about that is that opens the door to talk about some real science. Talk okay. about how your digestive tract works. Talk about how your eye might work. And we have a members event tonight. And one of the cool things we are going to do with our members is we are going to let them take a cow eye and dissect it, open it up, and look at the parts that are inside. All right? May I pick one up? Certainly, certainly. Now, this is how we get the cow eyes to start with. <laughs> It's, it's tempting to... Uh, Hold on. Uh -oh. I've got my eye on someone else. <laughs> Come on over here. We've got to bring Melissa in on this one because she was a little freaked out by the thought of this. But we're going to teach her. We're going to give her a little lesson on yeah. science take, too, take, take an eye. Have an eye. Mm. Now, what's neat about the cow eye is it's a little it's bit bigger cold. than... It is a little cold. It's a little bit bigger than the human eye. So the parts are larger, easier to identify. Mm -hmm. So for instance, here's an eye where... Chris, I'll swap you. Okay. We'll, we'll trade eyeballs. One. And what do you notice about this eye? <laughs> An eye for an eye. <laughs> Very nice. Um, In the back, yeah, it's that good. cord coming out is actually the optic nerve. That's the bundle of fibers that communicates with your brain from the retina. Okay? So this is, right. okay, so let me take that. This is my good eye. I'm going to take that. <laughs> well, I have another eye here, and this one I've made an incision around the outside. And Chris, I'm going to give you the honor of opening up the eye. Okay. You're just going to stick the scissors in there where that uh -huh. slit is and give it a, a little snip. I think I did this in high school biology. Just Don't, it might simple. squirt. Just avoid, Don't squirt eye. Avoid my fingers. Okay. Just give it a nice it, cut. Tough in some <sighs> It is actually tougher than you think. It's not as delicate as you would expect. Okay. All right. Got you got it? it? Got to get that. <gasps> Perfect. Okay. Oh. Go ahead and drop it on the plate there. Drop okay. it on yeah. the Drop it on the plate. Check you're, out. You're semi-grossed out by this, but you're intrigued, I know. aren't you? It's like a... Yeah, one of those things you see that's bad, but you got to keep looking. All right, Melissa or Chris, stick your finger in there and mush that stuff around. That is the vitreous humor. That's that liquid that gives the eye its shape. It also keeps the retina against mm. the back of the eye. So here is the back of the eye, and if you want, one of you want to stick your finger in there, that grayish stuff, just smush it around a little bit. That's actually the retina. Oh. Keep, keep smushing it around. We're going to expose what's behind okay. it there. It's only attached oh, at one wow. point. Only at one point and it, it's kind of slimy there, but in the back, do you see that shiny stuff? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is actually what's called the tapetum. And in cows, raccoons, dogs, cats, that's that reflective yeah, layer. Yeah, that glowing you see. Exactly. That gives them better is that what nighttime this is vision. Too? It kind of looks like a little dash mark or that's something like cornea. that. That's the cornea, okay? Oh. So this is the cornea. You imagine a cow out in the field, right? And they're, they're eating grass and you, know, you got glass, uh, gla grass blades poking at their eye. The cornea protects the eye, mm -hmm. but inside that, Chris, on the other part of your eye here, go ahead and pull that little thing out. That's like a clam. It, well, it's actually the lens of the Pearl. eye. Now, this is a preserved eye, so the lens is a little cloudy. Normally, that would be crystal clear. That's the lens that focuses the light on the back of the retina, okay? And what you were looking at is actually the iris. So if I turn this part of the eye inside out, the iris, that's mm -hmm. the part that opens and closes. Here, let me give you one. Hold, <laughs> hold out your hand there. That's the part that actually opens and closes and lets light in and out of your eye. That's what gives our eyes their colors. So all cow eyes kind of have the same sort of color there. Um, so there's just so many cool things here. Chris, look at that. That's the front part. That's just the cornea. Right. Carl, I have to say, I'm actually pretty amazed here. I mean, you, you take for granted some of the things that you can see every single day. And Absolutely. this is very, very interesting. And this is like the cool, powerful learning experience you can have at a science center. So you definitely want to come down and check out Grossology. We'll do things like this and other stuff. What other stuff? Well, what else can we cut open? Um, some pig heart and lungs, perhaps. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the lungs inflate and stick your fingers in a heart. Lots of cool stuff. We can make uh, slime, which is kind of like the mucus or the snot that comes out of our noses. Talk about why that's there. I'm taken Lots of back fun stuff. to sixth grade biology with this formaldehyde <laughs> smell right now. I but haven't smelled that in a while. This is good for the kids, though, because yeah. we're talking summer vacation is is headed basically and in the next couple of weeks. And keep those brains working, you know, instead of the video games or whatnot. Have Absolutely. them. Ooh, what's that's this? another lens. Um, again, they're preserved, so they're a little cloudy right now. But again, that's what focuses. And if you feel that, it's actually it's pretty tough. It is. It's, it's, uh, it might be a little slippery, too, so be careful you don't shoot it across the studio here. Or into my face. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us how uh, we can check out all this Grossology stuff going on down there. Grossology opens this Saturday, so just come down and check okay. it out. It's there for three months. Lots of really cool stuff. Again, it's kind of the impolite science. Focuses on crazy things. There's a, a rock climbing wall that has mm -hmm. pimples and moles on it that you can climb on. Giant nose you can walk into. 
you and be sneezed on. Digestive tract you can crawl through. Lots of really gross and fun stuff. Hey, you are welcome to have fun with science with the Imagination Station anytime you want. So join us whenever. We, we do fun things. Carl, thank you so much. Sure. Good to see you. We're going to sure. check you guys out at the Imagination Station. Went to